Hi guys, again this is Sir Yuri and welcome back. Um, our lesson for today is about how to build a social circle. Okay. If anybody of you is interested in building a large social circle, uh, for what? Right? For first, you could use it for business, for career, for your school, and to have a lot of friends and also a lot of um, relationships. When you have a lot of uh, social circle or big social circle, uh, these people around you could help you in your career, in your studies, uh, to get a job or to land a big deal. So the question is, most people want to uh, know is, what is the way to build a better social circle? First, you have to understand that the social dynamics of people is that number one, you should genuinely build relationships with them. Sabi nga ng friend ko, relationship, invest in relationships because that's the only uh, thing that you could invest that really appreciates in value not in money, gold, or silver. But when you build or invest in genuine relationships, it's yung value. Yun. Especially if you put it in the So, how do you do it? Number one, you have to build trust with people. The question is, how do you build trust? One of the things that you could do in building trust is, you have to, sabi nga ni John Maxwell, yung tinatawag kong FaceTime. Ibig sabihin na FaceTime, hindi yung ano ha, yung oras mo yung mukha mo. It <laughs> doesn't work that way. Ibig sabihin yung FaceTime is, you spend time with people. Ibig sabihin nga na yung pera madaling kitain, pero yung time na nawala, hindi may babalik. So when you invest in time with people, you spend time with them, you hang out with them, you build genuine relationship. Na yung tipong, kung paano ka mag-build ng relationship sa mga best friends mo, sa mga kabarkada mo, ganun lang din naman. Diba? So all you have to do is go out every day. Diba? Makipag-usap ka sa mga tao. Build friends with them. Diba? Build lasting relationship. You have to have that trust. Sabi nga ni Stephen Covey na one of the foundations of relationship is trust. Say, um, you could love other people pero still, you don't trust them. Or you could trust other people sometimes you don't love them. So what you want to do is spend time with people, be genuinely interested with them, just like what, what you do with your cousins, with your family, with your girlfriends, yung mga closer, yung barkada mo sa school, ganun lang din naman. And be genuinely interested. Kasi uh, mahirap din yung, for example, may kasabihin nga na, ano, um, action speaks louder than words. So, mas pag na nag-action ka, problema naman is, kung action ka na action, wala ka naman ng sinasabing words. Napaka-important no na nagbibuild ka ng lasting relationship sa mga tao na kakausap mo by spending time with them, giving value, di ba? attending mga birthdays, attending mga gatherings. Madalas kasi mga tao, ang gusto lang nila mag-Facebook. Gusto nila nasa loob lang sila ng bahay. Di ba? Yung isang mentor dati sinabi sa akin, kung gusto mo lumabak social circle mo, dapat hindi ka nasa loob ng bahay all the time. Nasa, gala, ano, kukotable dun eh. What you wanna do is spend most of your time building relationships sa mga tao. Diba? You hang out with friends. Sumama ka sa kanila. Diba? Kailangan yung mga friends nila. Hindi yung nasa loob ka lang laki ng bahay, nag-Facebook, diba? poke ka lang ng poke. It doesn't work that way. Kailangan mag-invest talaga ng time na kaharap yung mga tao face-to-face. -face. That's the only way na mag-build at lalaki social circle mo. Okay? And, man po ba yung mga iba kong tips? Is, kung mag-build ka ng social circle, apply mo yung PUA knowledge mo doon. Ibig sabihin na, uh, yung pagka-comfort build mo, Uh, what I mean with comfort building is genuinely nakikipag-usap ka sa kanila. Sabi nga ni Dale Carnegie, if you want people to be interested in you, you have to be genuinely and sincerely interested in them. And another thing in, uh, in uh, building a large social circle is not only in spending time with them and genuinely being interested, it's also um, talagang ano, um, When you spend time with them, may hindi mo nanonood ka ng movie. Naalala ko dati, may mga friends ako na hindi ko sila ganun kakilala. And gusto ko rin na magkaroon ng bagong friends kasi bago lang ako doon sa place na yun. So what I did was, kung nasan sila, pupunta ako doon. Kung meron sila mga gathering, sasama ako. 
Pag may mga nakita ko, for example, sa internet, mga events, diba, pupunta ako doon. Sayang eh, kasi you, I would rather spend my time building contacts and relationship with other people face-to-face -face than just going online. Diba? Ayun yung madalas nagiging weakness ng mga ibang tao na lagi lang sila doon online. Ang maganda, dapat lumalabas ka, you go out, socialize, and be friendly with other people. Just like yung mga friends natin ng college or high school, na ang dami nilang friends, mga tao nag-gravitate towards them. Why? Because they're so friendly, they're so genuinely interested sa mga tao, kasi yung mga tao genuinely interested sa kanila. So I hope guys, uh, you learned something today that in order for you to expand your social circle, you have to just establish one thing, genuine relationships with people. And once you do that, you'll have a large social circle that will help you in your career, to get a job, in your business, in your love life, in every single thing in this world. Okay? So anyway, I hope you guys learned something today, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Bow, bow, bow.